Bill Maher is the same way. A wall of right wingers. They're all they're all their friends are right wing, right? And so now he, he's not independent. He he doesn't do both sides. He doesn't have real. You think he's a right wing? Yeah, of course. You think Joe's right wing? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and so is he right, right of wing? where though, Jake? No, do I think he's right, right wing? of center or right of you? No, right of center. Okay, but but Rogan. Okay, Bill so, Maher too. You're saying again? He said Bill Maher is right of center. Joe Rogan has been on a streak recently and really in the last few years of just absolutely obliterating the left wing and the woke cult over there that Jank Uger is a part of. And in this video here, we have Patrick Bet David absolutely going in on Jank Uger for calling Joe Rogan a right winger, for saying that he is brainwashed by the right wing and only stating the opinions that Joe Rogan has been stating recently over on the Joe Rogan experience because it makes him more money, because it gets him more views, because Joe Rogan, of all people who, what did he get, like over $100 million from Spotify, it might even be more than that, from Spotify, Joe Rogan needs to change his opinions to make more money, of all people. That's it's that's projection if I have ever seen it. We haven't even gotten to the part and it's already pissing me off. Anyway, let's get into this clip here of Jank Uger getting heated and calling out Joe Rogan a right winger and then Patrick Bad David putting Jank Uger in his place. And that's he's surrounded himself with a wall of right wingers and he's created a bubble. Bill Maher is the same way. A wall of right wingers. They're all they're all their friends are right wing, right? And so now he, he's not independent. He he doesn't do both sides. He doesn't have real. You think he's a right wing? Yeah, of course. You, you think Joe's right wing? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And so is he right, right of wing? where though, Jake? No. Do I think he's right, right wing? of center or right of you? No, right of center. Okay, but but Rogan. Okay, and Bill so, Maher too. You're saying again? He said Bill Maher is right of center. If you guys have watched my content at all, or if you've watched Bill Maher's content at all, you know for a fact. Bill Maher is and never will be right of center simply because of one person and his name is Donald Trump. Bill Maher's brain is so broken, he can never be right of center. Joe Rogan probably isn't even right of center. Only on certain topics that are super touchy nowadays that are untouchable for the left. Like you can't question these certain things and Joe Rogan was brave enough to actually question them. So now he's a right winger to these lunatic leftists. It's crazy to me. It depends on the issues. So you can take an issue that Bill Maher is super liberal on and go, come on, you can't call him right wing, right? But I could show you 10 issues where he's just obsessed with cancel culture and only from the left wing perspective, not the right wing perspective. Uh, he loves, by the way, Bill Maher loves corporate Democrats. Okay, just loves them to pieces. So, uh, so to me, on economic issues, he's sa same issues as all those corporate Democrats. Anyways, so so Joe, it's a matter of emphasis. So I hear that he's pro-choice, but does he ever talk about that? Almost never, right? Uh, but on any right-wing issues, oh my God, trans rights, this, that, the other thing, he's like super animated about, right? Whenever it's a right-wing issue, he will spend hours and hours and hours discussing it. If Because, dude, like, is this guy really this stupid? Joe Rogan is very, like, he nonchalantly says that he's pro-choice, but he'll say stuff like, I don't know why these people are so obsessed with trying to control other people. Like, that's how he'll give his opinion on, on stuff about him being pro-choice. When it comes to the left-wing stuff that Joe Rogan is against, that, that the left is for, it's because the things that you guys are pushing for and the things that you don't allow people like Joe Rogan to question are so insane that it makes you angry. It makes you physically angry. Like, when you say things like, Bill Maher is a right-winger. Come on, man. Of course people are going to get animated about that. Of course Joe Rogan is going to get animated about that. Because it's ridiculous. And then especially when you start accusing Joe Rogan of being certain things that he's very obviously not. Not that there's anything wrong with being a right winger, but it's just, you can't just start throwing labels at people because you don't like what they're saying. Because you don't like that they're questioning certain things. Like, I would probably say that I am a right winger. I don't agree with everything that the right wing agrees with. But I definitely don't think Joe Rogan is a right winger. No chance. If he has left wing positions... Not a peep. There's a thing called audience capture where your audience starts to go in a certain direction. It starts to build momentum. Then if you try to change, all of a sudden your audience numbers drop and people panic. Okay. Now Joe's already rich, so he doesn't have to worry too much about that. I think he got more guest guest captured than audience captured. But like guys like Jimmy Dore get audience captured like crazy. So once they like Jimmy Dore used to be on the left and he Comedian. was doing 
comedian. Right? He was in our network. Um, one of the worst mistakes I've ever made. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. And, uh, and so, having him on? Yeah. Okay. And so he goes independent. Now he, uh, he's at one point he's doing pro vaccine videos. He got a vaccine. They're not doing that well. Right. Then he does one that's vaccine skeptical. It does great. Okay, so all right, then he does another one that's vaccine skeptical because he wants the views, he wants the money, right? And so all of a sudden that's, then next thing you know, he's on 20 videos against vaccines or vaccine skepticism because that's where the audience is going, that's where the money is going, and that's how, and I, there was a progressive in our network who said, look, the same thing happened to me. I was criticizing Democrats so much from a left-wing position, but I was criticizing Democrats. And one day I woke up and I found out my audience is right-wing. Like I asked him a poll question, holy cow, these guys are like 70% right-wing. So he's like, I had to make a principled choice there. And I did, and I cut off 70% of my audience. And I started talking more about my left-wing positions, not just anti-Democrat positions, right? So that's what happens. So on Rogan to your actual- I like how he's saying that as if it's a virtuous thing to do. All you're admitting whenever you say that is all you care about is left versus right instead of actually having morals and principles within yourself. Like that's how I like to operate. And that's that's the people that I respect how they operate. You know, whenever they're people like Joe Rogan, who he has his opinions that I don't agree with, like the pro-choice stuff and and stuff like that. I don't agree with it, you know, completely. But at least he has his own morals and principles where he's not just saying I am a left winger or I am a right winger and everything that I say, everything that comes out of my mouth must align with the left or the right wing. Like he's just going through life, making his decisions, making his you know beliefs known and, and changing those beliefs whenever new information is presented to him. Whereas Cenk Uger, all he cares about is being seen as a left winger, being seen as against the right wing. So when he checks his analytics and it says 70% right wing, he says, oh, I must cut off that 70% because I am a left winger. I can't identify as right wing. Or how about you don't do that and you just continue to be intellectually honest. You continue to be honest with your audience about your actual beliefs. Why is that? Why is the virtuous thing to do to cut off the right wing rather than just be honest with your audience and have the audience have it play out as it may, you know, like just just. Let your beliefs be known and let the audience form itself. I don't, I don't understand why it's the virtuous thing to do to cut off the right wing of your audience. I, I'm okay. A trained person is of course better and by a lot, right? So, and a guy who's in shape is supposed to, a guy not in shape by a lot. So I would do tons of training, etc., And I'd still be a massive underdog. Okay. But I'm a brawler. And, and so it's not just that I fought my whole life when I was growing up, etc. It's the will in you, right? So if he's going to beat me, he's going to have to beat me. He will beat you, though. Yeah, and that's fair. Yeah, and that's yeah. a fair conclusion to yeah. reach, okay? But my point is, I, I'm tired of people running over the left wing, okay? So I, if you're going to say we're weak, then fuck off and step in the ring, okay? So step in the ring ideologically. That is what I would yeah. greatly prefer. By the way, I did this with Michael Smirkonish a long time ago on a HuffPost, right? Mm -hmm. He's talking shit about, oh, the wussification of America. And I was like, all right, bitch, then either get in the ring from a debate point of view or, or mm -hmm. get in the octagon or whatever you want, right? Because you're saying we're wussies, and I'm saying I'll kick the shit out of you. Okay, so you tell me. You know what? Well, Mike it's just so tribal, man. Like, he's saying, like, in general, the left are weak or soft. And he's like, Jank Uger specifically takes offense to that. If somebody says right wingers, even though I align greatly, like largely with the right wing, if somebody says right wingers are soft, I'm not taking offense to that personally because <laughs> I'm not like that tribal about it. I, f I have my own beliefs. I form my own beliefs that are outside of just right wingers believe this. So I must believe this. And it, it's embarrassing to see someone be that tribal with the whole thing, like with the, you know, Joe Rogan is not 100% in alignment with me and my ideology, so he is the enemy, and I want to step in the octagon or the ring with him. Michael Smirkonish did, he ran like a bitch, okay? <laughs> and he went and cried to mommy, and he said, oh my God, he's threatening me. No, no, I said, look, in, in a, uh, I would never do it in the streets, that's nuts, okay? I'm 100% against violence. But you're not gonna call us weak and get away with it. We're going to stand a goddamn post, and that's why the Young Turks are hated by the right wing, because we do not back down. We punch back. So the whole point there, Patrick, is rhetorical. 
I'm punching back rhetorically. Yeah, but you, you I, and, and by the way, that, that was how I took it. Yes. But that's not how the world took it. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm sure I you know, know that. There's a part course. of that was marketing. I get that. But let, let me go through a couple of these. But I uh, like triggering the right wing. I, I like to be, oh, yeah, no, wait, man, we're tougher, we're tougher. I, really? I, I don't I, think so. Bro, I don't think if anybody. By the way, Alex Jones rated my set, right? I, I that, stood yeah. up, yeah, I and all that. of a sudden, he wasn't so fucking tough anymore, right? So all these fake tough guys in the right wing. Joe is not a fake tough guy, though, bro. Okay. I get what you're saying. I get what he's also not on the right wing. Like, oh, it's just it, bro. It's it's the meatheads. It's the the tribalistic people. They hear something that they disagree with, and they're like, "Yeah, and I stood up, and he, he, you know, he backed down." It's like, bro, we're talking about ideas and politics. We're not talking about I can beat you in a fist fight or not. Like, come on, man. It's just ridiculous. What you're saying, but but uh, you know. Uh, 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 and in regards to him being right wing, like that is uh, the guy said he would vote for Bernie Sanders. Yeah, I mean, he's, I thought he's, you guys had found common yeah, ground he, on yeah, that. Yeah, okay, yeah, he did, yeah, right? Yeah. And I, so that was like the last semblance of him being independent. Since then, he's gone completely in the other direction, one hundred percent in the other direction. If and by the way, he supported Trump. Trump's a lunatic. So he, I mean, you can't say. What you're do you mean he for, supported Trump? He he said that he. Uh, look, if I'm wrong, I'm happy to to yeah. retract it. But my understanding was. He said he doesn't like either option, but between Trump and Biden, he preferred Trump. Oh, at the time. Okay. okay. No, I, th I, think. I think the way no, I think the way he said it, I think the way he said it is he he thinks Trump uh, had a stronger way of dealing with things than Biden does. I don't think he said I would vote for Trump over Biden because he could clarify. He, By the he, way, why doesn't he clarify? Yeah. That's such an easy thing. I, I think he does. Like, Trump, like yeah. Tucker won't say whether he took the, he took the vaccine. Why don't you just say it? What's yeah. wrong with you, right? Yeah. So, yo, well, who'd you vote for? What, what's the big deal? I mean, you do. A sh and he definitely didn't vote for Donald Trump. I think that's well known. And Joe Rogan hasn't been pro Trump until they put Joe Biden in office because of how horrible Joe Biden has been. Joe Rogan even said previously that he wouldn't have Donald Trump on his podcast, on the Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan has said that multiple times, and now recently he's becoming more and more accepting to it, only because the left has gotten so insane that he is not welcomed there anymore because of people like Jen Kuger and what he's saying here to Patrick Bet David over on the Value Tainment Podcast. See, it's, it's stuff like this that just pushes people like Joe Rogan, who have common sense within their brains, away from your movement. And saying that, if you disagree with me, you, well, you won't step in the octagon with me. It's like, come on, man. You just sound like an absolute idiot. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about Jan Kuger's appearance over on the Value Tainment Podcast, on Patrick Bed David's podcast. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hope to see you guys on the next video.